Welcome. Uh, today I want to talk about section 3.2, working with derivatives, and let's start with problem number nine. And in problem nine, we're just trying to match the functions that are on this half of the board. There are four functions listed, and we want to match the functions up with the graphs of their derivatives. So here are four graphs on this side. These represent four derivative functions, and we'd like to know if this is what the original functions look like, then what do their derivative functions look like? So let's just take this one step at a time, and I think that the, the nice way to look at this problem is, well, let's just look at slope. And where is slope zero? Where is slope positive? Where is slope negative? And based on where slope is positive and negative and zero, we can get some idea of what functions uh, what the graphs of their derivative should look like. So for example, let's take a look at this very first function. You can see right off the bat, there's one spot on this function where the slope is zero. And the one place where the slope is zero is at x equals zero. So if we come over here, which places is the derivative zero at zero? Well, there are three. One, two, three. So it's definitely not a. Okay, so we know that. Then what we see is that over here, the slopes of this graph have positive slope. And on the other side, the slopes have positive slope. So in other words, the derivative is always positive except at zero. So I'm looking for a graph over here that's always positive except at zero. This is negative the whole time. This is negative over here. This is negative sometimes. But this is always positive, except at zero. So the only option that I really have is D. So the answer to part A is graph D. OK, now let's look at B. In B, we see that there are three spots where the derivative is 0 at negative 1 at 0, and at 1. So if I come over here, where is the derivative 0? At negative 1, at 0, and at 1. Well, here, the slope, uh, the derivative is 0 at negative 1, the derivative is 0 at 0, and the derivative is 0 at 1. So all the other ones do not have that property, so B must be capital C. For part C, the parabola, what I see is that uh, the only place where the derivative is 0, or where I have a horizontal slope, is at 0. So what are my options? I've already used D, and I've already used C. So what I have left are A and B. So it must obviously be B, but if you want to look at it even closer, on the right side of uh, the origin, the slopes are all positive. And on the left side, the slopes are all negative. So we need negative values to the left of the origin and positive values to the right. Negative to the left, positive to the right. So it's B. And then finally, uh, just based on process of elimination, I guess we know what the last one is. The last one is going to be A. But we can kind of see that that's true. Uh, all of the slopes all the way along this graph are negative slopes. It's always negative. The derivative is always negative. So it must be A. And that's how we match a function to the graph of its derivative.